Today I'm back again in Zanzibar, and instead of just staying in this beautiful hotel we were currently being accommodated, I decided to just explore a different place instead. It's about 45 minute drive from a hotel. This was also the hotel where we stayed before. And the reason why I came here to explore, it's because I've heard so many great stories from crew who've been here already. And since I have nothing else to do in a three day layover, I'd better go some other place to chill and relax. Zanzibar has a lot of things to offer when it comes to their attraction. And since I've been in a tour already before this flight, I know my mind is craving for some other new places to see. So after paying at the reception, the hotel will provide you with a wristband depending on the package you're taking. It cost me about 100 US dollar with all inclusive of food and beverage. And I'm also very lucky to get accommodated as we're always fully booked during the regular days. And normally, we have to book in advance before coming to the hotel. I arrived at around 10 in the morning and the staff immediately offered me with an a la carte breakfast while enjoying my view of the poolside. At first, I thought I was dreaming because I've only seen a few guests. But yeah, I think I'll be enjoying this paradise all by myself. So after having a delightful breakfast, I came down to the beach side and started exploring the place. And of course, the staff came by and asked me if I would like to have something to drink. Though it was still full, I decided to just take a look at their beverage list and ordered a pina colada for a start. I never thought that I actually needed this break. So many things have happened this year, not to mention friends losing their jobs. Plus a constant worry if we get to keep our jobs in the next few months. The fact is that nobody knows whether we are safe or not. Nothing is certain anymore. But I'm glad I've had this little break so I can at least breathe and stay away from the current drama we're facing, even just for a day. And I think I should probably be doing this more often to give myself a little self-love. And I think you should be doing it to yourself too. It doesn't have to be fancy. Even a walk in the park or listening to the waves of the ocean will definitely boost your creativity and inspiration. And for those who may have stumbled upon my channel, I do love to travel and explore new places. But at the same time, I'm also an introvert. But please don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean I'm in this job, I should have an outgoing personality. And yes, it comes naturally when I'm on board. But I always get recharged when I'm alone. I love spending time with myself and I'm grateful that my husband gives me space at home too. And no, I don't have a drinking problem. I know my limits and this is just my first glass and I'm taking my time to enjoy it with my view. This is probably one of the greatest places to find solitude. And no, I'm not feeling depressed or some sort of. 
fact, I've never been this grateful in my life. Never did I thought that I could actually find happiness in simple things like these and get the true value of life. And just looking at your surroundings and being present at the moment is the greatest gift you can give to yourself. Now it's time to go someplace else. I was told that they have a massive pool on the other side of the hotel and I'd like to experience and see what's in there. This man has to drive me to that place because it's about one kilometer from the place I'm currently in. The hotel has several villas in different areas with different views depending on the rates they offer. You also find beautiful plant scenery as you drive along the small room. Now I understand why they call it a paradise. It's like heaven on earth. And I guess I'm the luckiest person to have ever witnessed this captivating place, just all by myself. It's as if I own the place. And the best part is, nobody is watching you. Nobody cares what you do. And I guess that's what we want in life that no matter what you do, no one will judge you. You can laugh, you can cry, you can sing, and you can dance. You can do whatever you like, just don't allow yourself and others to hurt you. I wish I could stop moments like these. I wish I could even share this with my loved ones. The things I'm experiencing right now could have been more memorable when I get to spend it with my family and friends. It's such a lovely place that part of me is also telling that there's something missing. And I knew right at that moment that it was the idea of not being able to share the same experiencing with the people you treasure the most. Being in this line of work also made me realize that life becomes more meaningful when you have someone to spend it with. Yes, it's good to see amazing places like these by myself, but not on a constant basis. Places like these are meant to be shared with people who care the most. But then again, you can't really have everything in life. What you can do is just be grateful for whatever you currently have and make the most out of it. And not to take things for granted as you'll never know if you're going to have the same opportunity again the next time around.
It was around 3 in the afternoon that I realized I was starving. I got preoccupied by the mesmerizing view of this hotel. So I decided to go back to the main restaurant and get something to eat while enjoying the ocean breeze and the awe-inspiring view. I ordered a grilled calamari and paired it with their subtle house white wine, which was an amazing choice. And did I tell you I can choose anything on the menu? Yeah, that's right. Everything inclusive of that 100 US dollars. I don't know about you, but there's something about the sea that puts the mind at ease. It gives me more inspiration and calmness. It also gives me a time to reflect on the things that I want to manifest in my life. And after I finished my late lunch, I decided to go to the poolside and went for a swim. I'm glad I waited for the afternoon sun before I dip into the water. Otherwise, I could have been burned already. I don't know if it was the effect of the alcohol, but I found myself talking and just thanking the universe for the incredible experience. Their staff were also very attentive that they just kept pouring my glass for some wine. I never had this kind of experience where you can be yourself and nobody would even bother to look at you. I was just there, right in that moment, while enjoying sipping my wine. I guess I've consumed more than five glasses that I must have felt euphoric. No, I'm kidding. I'm just being so grateful for everything that is happening in my life right now. After I finish, I started packing up at around 6 in the evening and waited for my ride to come. On the last day of our stay, I made sure I get to explore our own hotel we were staying in. Though I've been here a couple of times, but I've never really got the chance to make a small tour at the hotel. My room is quite different from the previous one, as I was assigned to stay on the third floor, and I get to have a bathtub, unlike the first time. The view is still stunning even if you're staring from your bathroom window. So when you get out of the room, you get to see these surroundings. The place is full of plants and palm trees. They also have their own water sports here, however, it's been temporarily discontinued due to the current situation. They also have a quite big pool area where you can relax and enjoy the sun. I've made up my mind not to swim anymore as my skin was already burning from the non-stop soak in the sun. I have to make sure I'm not going to be grounded because of the sunburn. I'm also just being responsible for myself and not to get myself into trouble. After the short tour, I asked one of the staff if I could get a few flowers so I could put it in the tub. I normally don't do this on a layover, but I've got nothing else to do and I'd like to just savor the last few hours before my pickup. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today once again. And thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until our next adventure. Bye for now.